know what I mean? If you box that, you got short, went back in the box, you were out of it. You could have technically boxed it at mid and gone long, but I don't think I would have gone long till it broke that box to begin with. That was a little fakey. That's why when you box and they fake, you got to get out. Yep. You got to. Watch crude oil. It hit 68 and uh, took out that little swing. So they are trying to head up. Let's see if they'll continue. You just that wind me chart, please? Sure. It's falling off the map, isn't it? Well, yeah. There's crude again right back at Sport. Did a little phantom, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Can't break that 1550. Should stay under 1850. 18 three quarter. Above there, 2150 be a lower high. Yeah, stay under 1875 uh, there before I got uh, that line drawn. Turned out to be a decent SE trade there, huh? Yeah, if gold will actually pull back on top of that box. I look for a long there. I did not catch that long. We called the short and it stopped out. And that's what they do at the open, everyone. That's what they do. NASDAQ right at the lows of the day, <clears throat> trying to break it. It is breaking it. Low for the day on ES is 04. And that'd be sweet. That would be sweet. See, this gave opportunity after opportunity. You know, we called that 2250 right there at the line. If you even waited for it to break this little swing to the left, if you're a little bit less gutsy on it, especially near the open, there's opportunities at the box, the 2250, and at that break of that swing to the left. I think it filled till 19. That's a decent trade. Yeah. Got four on. Turned much more than I thought it would be. It's very especially, decent. Especially when it sat on your, uh, just under your line there at 17. Mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> man, they are slamming NASDAQ. I was opening up 311. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really split market. There's your bounce on gold. See, see my line? Called it out. All you had to do is take it. Sniper got it. I don't know how you could have stopped out of ES. I mean, it stayed under, broke the box, stayed under the line, broke the line, stayed under the line. <clears throat> well, the spots to watch here, 14 above there, 17. Mm -hmm. There are multiples. You could have already banked some. NASDAQ bouncing off its low. Told you what was heading up. There you go. <clears throat> There's your bounce on Goldie. Yeah, matter of fact, I just, you must have been asleep. I just uh, said if they hit that line, we were taking that puppy long. No, and I wasn't came, asleep. I heard it when I saw it. I'm in it. Came, came within a tick. Yep. That's a good call. No, I just meant you didn't hear me uh, after I said that we got it. I know you heard me say that we were drawing the line there. Oh, 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 okay. Awesome. Fresh lows on NASDAQ. Bernard, on your question, well, CL, we're actually, see where my box is right here? 
that I drew these two lines. This is actually your trade that was right after the open. That's a little pop for easily 10 ticks. You draw your lines on your chart. You know, you got your resistance right across there. It goes back down through it. You get out. It bounced off our line again, so we're long one more time. And if this thing will finally head up. Now, see, there's also some people that are short on Phantom, too. And they got a nice little trade, but we're actually taking the support bounces, and they're taking the resistance rolls. Because you can trade this either way. There's the low on NASDAQ right here. Going to break it. Going to get Gary's 04. O yeah, if they take out that 04, Charles, it's it's changed the overall trend on ES. Mm -hmm. That's uh, That mid-band kiss and roll was money. Look at that. Yeah, decent. Six handles. We'll take six, six yeah. handles any day of the week, won't we? Mm-hmm. Couldn't take out that 04 yet, though. No, I hit 05. Four ticks. There's support in that area. I think you're going to get your 04. I'm hoping they just blow through it. <clears throat> That'd be awesome. One more ticks. Come on, Essie. NASDAQ's still getting, continuing to get fresh lows. Helping us out. Why me? Come on. He says, I'm not going in the down crowd. I'm going the other way. Come on, Essie, break it. I dare you. It hit four and three quarter. We're in like a tick of your line. Break it and drop. Come on. If Essie breaks it, you should be able to get down to 29.96. That's a big if, though. It's got to break it and break it hard. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> NASDAQ breaking fresh lows every tick. Every tick is just, they are just slamming NASDAQ. Everybody get that SE trade? We called two of them. I got them. Money Monet. I don't know what words to say. Oh, my goodness. Mercy be. Where was the low from yesterday? Wasn't it like twenty nine ninety six or something like that? Yeah, that's where I've got my line drawn. Not that far from here. Which one is he? Another one. I mean, that's that's almost too good, but a person could box it in if they want to. Well, the thing is, uh, Alpha, on your question, we already called the trade, so you got to be really careful when you've had, you know, like I've got my line drawn. So if a person's in it, you're in it at twenty nine ninety eight. Okay, right there where my line's at, and you don't let it go back against it, because with the way YM is acting right here, Essie's liable to do the same thing. And we've already had a great run, but see, that was the trade if you wanted it. I drew the line. If, if you're short, just don't let it go back against it at all. Yep. I did not take that one. 98.50. Running the button at the mid-band. She's respecting that mid-band today. She certainly is. I did not get that one, but I did call it for you. Yep. There's five handles on it. Nice yeah. Three. 20 ticks. About how to draw on your charts, just go to any of our webinars. And, you know, my webinar last night, wait for the trade. You know, you don't have to wait for a complete thrust and a pullback. They can be these little minor ones. I showed that last night in the webinar. But, you know, when you see a trade, just like we, we missed this one on gold this morning, but we did say ahead of time. If it goes out of that box and back in it, you got to get out. And see, you know, did this look like a short at the time? 
I did mention that it was a very big box. I don't like big boxes, but if it would have broken down and come on down here, we'd have gotten 20 ticks. But it went out. The next bar went up. You got to really get out the moment it goes back in the box. And we didn't even take the long here. We took the long here when it came back and kissed. And off she went. And I even missed this one a few minutes ago. Oh, look at that oil drop, Jiminy Christmas. Yeah. I saw it break that line. I was going to jump in, but I, I was just busy with that ES. I'm in at 3341. Ah, good for you. 30 tick drop. Good for you. Fresh lows on Nazi. Taking down Essie, breaking that support level. And Essie even gave another chance right there. Missed that one too. That's all right. Nine handles off that mid band kiss and roll. It's a good call. She decent. They're flushing the toilet on NASDAQ today. I don't know why. Apple's down big. That's what it is. I'm looking at the tech names across. Well, inventory is not today, Herman. It's tomorrow because of the holiday. Stopped out of ES. What a run. Three of them. Unbelievable. When we say keep a tight stop, Rick, well, basically, see that mid-band trade that I was calling right there as it was happening? It rolled right at mid-band, so you just put your stop just literally above what, what it did right here. Let me just get this chart up a little bit so you can see it. What you want first off, you want an ABC. So if you get an ABC type move on uh, oil, and they touch mid-band and they roll, you can get it on this bar right here. That's the one I was calling on. Or you can even box it like that. And it still broke it. Or you can draw a trend line too. I like to personally draw trend lines lots of times on, on trades because you can get them same bar. But be careful just in case it's a higher low because oil's been down quite a bit. And usually if it goes back in the box, see like it's doing right now, that bar right there needs to roll. If that bar actually even tries to close up, you'd want to kill it. <clears throat> Could have flipped Nazi right to mid band there. I'm long or uh, Nasdaq 8350. Let's see if she can drag SC up. Now, if SC going to head up, she pull back, hold that 9550 at the mid band and bounce. A handle is a full point. Sorry about that. A handle is a full point. Like on oil, a handle would be 10 ticks. On ES, it's 4 ticks. On, you know, YM, it's just the 1 tick. On gold, it's just the 1, uh, pardon me, 10 ticks. Sorry about that. And 10 ticks on YM and 10 ticks on oil, but only 4 on uh, ES. Anybody grab that? You got a good little trade. You got a scalp. Bank a little bit of coin. I mean, they could take this thing all the way back. You just don't know. I mean, they could easily take it all the way back. 